Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. Yes, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of someone who's feeling quite overwhelmed emotionally. They may also feel a bit confused. They could have a lot of distractions or a lot of options around them, and they, they, they're trying to be cautious, but they do feel very uh, like unsure. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy. We have the Six of Swords, Air Energy, and the King of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Okay, so there's definitely an energy here of someone who is wanting to move towards you, um, but they're not sure about where you guys stand. There could be a lot of confusion around the situation. With the Six of Swords, they may fear that you've already moved on, um, but this person is still very um, into you. They haven't moved on. With the Strength card, there's an energy of being uh, quite committed, like they still have their loyalty to you, but they are trying to figure out if they should explore their other options. Because with the Seven of Cups, this person could have a lot of people around them or options around them, but they, they are very focused on you. Um, but they, if there's something about this connection or about this connection to you that where they feel a bit confused about it. Um, let's clarify these cards, um, Scorpio. Okay, so we have the Empress, and this is Venus energy, Taurus, Libra energy. So yeah, this is an energy of them viewing you as, you know, the one who stands out amongst many. So even if this person has a lot of options, there's something about you that, you know, like you're special to this person, and they would do away with all of the other options if they could just have you. Okay, so let's see. We have the King of Swords, Air Energy, the Five of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy, and the Fool, Aquarius Energy. So you and this person could have had like a fallout and you may have tried to move on, but they do want to reconcile with you. It's like this person, they, they're afraid, but also with the Fool card, they may want to do something risky. They may want to take a leap of faith towards you, um, but they are expecting to be met with a bit of a coldness from you, but they still, they have this desire to take a leap towards you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out... Uh, an oracle card for you, Scorpio. Here we have you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. We have engagements your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so this person for them no one compares to you they they would want to be with you it looks like they may surround themselves with other people just because they feel as if they can't have you okay let's see Okay, we have graciousness and benevolence. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. So you really made a big impact on this person and they do remember you very fondly. They view you as someone who they, they really love and care for. And it looks like they do want a second chance. Like if they could have this high level of commitment with you, they would really take it. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice.
Hey, we have surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.